How would you invest $20,000 as a 20-year-old, Veronica? Well, once again, I'm not a financial advisor or financial planner, so I can't advise. But if it was me and I was 20 or yep. it was my daughter and she's 20 and she had 20 grand, ETFs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just straight up what? Any, any particular one just on the ASX? Yeah, I'd look at probably, you know, Vanguard or somewhere like that. On the, yep. on the ASX day in Australia, you could, you know, go in America or whatever. But at the end of the day, I would just look at, Whatever I'd look at in, index like Fine. industry indexes as opposed to sort of strange, weird, and wonderful, you know, <laughs> <laughs> out there weird indexes. But I would I would choose uh, the sort of what they call it the um, market indexes, mm. and that's what I would advise my daughter to do. But I just will couch that by saying I am not a financial planner. Um, so this is generic generic advice. Not in advice. General. This is just oh. what I would do. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Um, just so people know, an exchange exchange traded fund represents the basically like the basket of all the stocks on the ASX. And, but you can get different exchange traded funds for different categories. Um, for instance, there's one that I've invested recently called Robots, which invests in AI, mm, right? Yeah. And they generally target chip manufacturers and stuff like that. Or you can get it in some, as Veronica said, some weird and wonderful things. It might be um, farming, farming, or it might be. I'm trying to think of some of the weird ones. And also around the world once you can get ones that just focus on Asia or yeah. Japan, et cetera. So that's what an exchange traded fund is.